Hi, so if we put together on the one hand the budget constraint and on the other hand the indifference curve in blue, then we end up with an optimal choice. So the budget constraint reflects scarcity and the indifference curve reflects preferences. That's the main thing you should know about this diagram. And here, where the, uh, the indifferent curve uh, touches, that's the tangent point, touches the budget constraint, there we have the optimum, we have the optimal consumer choice for given prices, right? Please remember, so these are the relative prices of these two goods, and for these given prices, this here is the optimal consumer choice. Well, we could also now use different preferences to show that there could be different optimal choices for a given budget for different preferences. Why don't we do that? Well, I prepared now two diagrams. Just think of those diagrams should be identical. In fact, there are not. But think about they are identical. So that's the price you have to pay if you draw on a whiteboard. Okay, um, so we have exactly the same budget constraints. Now different preferences kick in. So one preference could be uh, a flat uh, indifference curve. And if there is a flat indifference curve, you might end up with an optimal choice, which is up there. So flat indifference curves just means there is no real preference for luxury flats, right? That's what we had before, X1 was luxury flats or take apartments or whatever, right? So, and therefore, they only, these individual only consumes uh, a little bit of X1, right? So that's not so beautiful, but you see the idea, right? The optimal choice is here. And on the other hand, uh, now we had a, a steep indifference curve, right? A steep indifference curve reflecting preferences. Well, this household really likes luxury flats, right? And because there is a preference for a luxury flat, the optimal choice is associated with much more of X1, much more square meters. So this individual has a preference, for luxury flats, therefore there is a steep indifference curve and therefore the same budget is assigned uh, to uh, different uh, goods. So this person loves to live in a luxury flat but spends much less money for all other goods. Whereas this person lives in a small flat, right? It's not luxury, it's, it's, it's a small flat. Well, let's say it's luxury, but it's it's very small, right? And uh, or a small apartment, whatever that X one means. So we should be flexible in our mind here. But uh, the idea should be clear here: small apartment, only few square meters, and a lot of the budget is assigned to uh, all other goods. What happens now if the price of good one goes down? P1 goes down. So we know if we spend all our budget, remember the budget is constant, hasn't changed at all. It's only the relative price that uh, has changed. The price of good one goes down and, and, and the price of, of, of good two is also unchanged. It's only the price of good one that goes down. So if now we spend all our budget for good one, what happens if the price of good one has gone down. Yes, we get more of that, right? And so we get more of that. Here we get, let's say, x1, 0, and here we get x1, 1, just to say, well, we get more of that. So we know that the budget line rotates in such a case. And what about the optimal choice now? for normal preferences. So our optimal choice for this budget, for these prices, 
is uh, here. Let's say that's point A. However, now the price has changed, budget same, and now the optimal choice would be here. So if the price goes down for a good one, so in the very beginning, that would be, let's say, X star, and now we spend our budget, same budget, but with different prices, and we consume more of X1, let's say that's X1 double star. And if we now translate that into another diagram, in a diagram with the price of good one on the vertical axis, you can immediately see we end up with the downward sloping demand curve. So for a higher price, that's point A, and for a lower price, that's point B, which is then the optimal choice. So the demand curve reflects optimal choices.